I'm Bass Rocks and I'm producer of Vocal Future House and Future House by Drop Samples. Now I show you some very important tricks with sidechain processing. Let's go to the project. At first I want to say that I use for sidechain the plugin Cable Guys Volume Shaper 4. It's a cool multiband sidechain plugin. And for this function you can use any similar plugins, for example LFO tool, Grossbeat or Shaper Box and so on. Okay, so we must put all tracks in a sidechain group except kick and clap. After this we open Volume Shaper 4 because it's a multiband plugin we must configure each range separately. For low range we configure the curve based on kick lens. For this we put a volume shaper on kick track and we can see the lens of kick. Another range we regulate as we hear. Please attention on this point position for each range. Cool, sidechain is working. But on this place of track we can hear excess drawdowns. To eliminate them we will configure MIDI triggering and for this we must make send from this track to sidechain row. After this we make MIDI signals for each kick. Then in uh, volume shaper we must uh, set MIDI beat one shot mode. Now sidechain working only when uh, we have MIDI signal. Cool, this chain configurate was finished. Everywhere I look and everywhere I go I find you. Everywhere I run and everywhere I hide I find you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I can't escape, can't escape, can't escape your love. It's following me. I'm afraid, I'm afraid that I won't move on.
The first version of Creative using sidechain plugins is the best transient designer in the world. Please listen this sound. We can add more attack for this sound. For this we must take the MIDI of this melody and send it to the grab of this sound. After this we put volume shaper on this sound and uh, make curve, for example this curve, set 16 for example, and listen what we have. Cool, it's only attack of this sound. Then we listen in and tune in mix parameter. For example, 70%, we also can control the curve of attack. It can be any curve. For example, this curve. After this, we increase the volume 10 dB. Let's listen. Cool, now listening without and with the plugin. With. Without. With. Without. This transient designer will work correctly with any sounds, even with the fastest and most dynamic.
second version of creative using sidechain plugins is sidechain reverb. Please listen this part. For sidechain reverb, we must add new track, which named reverb. After this, we must make audio send to this reverb track and put the reverb plugin on this send track. The next action for side chain reverb, we must make MIDI send from MIDI track of this melody to send track and also put the volume shaper on this reverb track. We must set the MIDI beat one shot mode. Also, we must set desired length, for example, this and desired curve. Also, I increase the volume of reverb. Let's listen. Cool, the design of sidechain reverb was finished. Perfect. I hope these tricks will help make your production better. If you like this, please subscribe me and drop on samples in socials. Good luck!